It's like a pretty good option. Joining us to talk about this more, Congressman Joe Seska, a Democrat from Pennsylvania. Congressman, good morning to you. Good morning, Jamie. All along when the president said he wanted to close Guantanamo, I thought to myself that if you move those detainees to Supermax, basically you open up the fact that they could be tried in U.S. courts, state secrets could be revealed in those trials, and they could recruit and plot terror plots on U.S. soil. But if you could change the rules and satisfy the activists that say Guantanamo is not treating these detainees properly, and you know that the interrogation techniques are not going to be conducted because President Obama took care of that by executive order, what's the problem with that? Yeah, you raised two important points, Jamie. Let me talk first about Representative Hastings' bill. Practically, it could work here domestically to resolve what's become a political malstorm and restore the due process of law in Getmo. On the other hand, from my 31 years in the military, I saw overseas, even when I was on the ground in Afghanistan, while we're respected for the power of our military and respected for the power of our economy, we were so admired for the power of our ideals. Getmo, unfortunately, has become a symbol that has actually harmed our standing in the world. And it's recruited terrorists in any prison does not serve the national interest if it's actually going to create more terrorists outside its walls than it can hold within it. You're saying and we should be concerned about it. our image, that overseas the Gitmo name and, the, and the, the concept has hurt the image of America. Is that what you're saying? I'm saying we should be concerned about how do we best regain the security that we have lost in Pakistan and Afghanistan is one example where a year and a half ago General Hayden, President Bush's head of the CIA said Al-Qaeda now has a safe haven away from us and now we have Pakistan with an insurgency and an inflamed populace and we have had a legal black hole where we have tortured men and kept them outside but the rule of law. But we've also thwarted attacks and let's be honest Harry Reid even says that U.S. prisons are not an option there are a lot of Americans that are concerned about these detainees coming to their neighborhoods and commingling potentially with other prisoners, some hardened criminals that may be interested. We saw this in New York City where these potential and alleged terrorists plotted and, and converted to Islam and, and wanted to blow up synagogues right here in the U.S. So why not change the name of Gitmo? Why not have the trials there? Why not have the prisoners looked at by Amnesty International and the Red Cross and other groups? And why not do what Elsie Hastings says? Because isn't job number one for our government to protect us and secondarily to worry about what people think about us? Without a question, Jamie. And that's why I make respect for Senator Reid. But if he said that, I totally disagree. You know as well as I do that that terrorist that actually in 1993 attacked the World Trade Center is now in prison in the supermax of Florence, Colorado. I'm kind of upset a bit actually that Vice President Cheney, who left us a military that I so respect and that I was a part of for so many decades and crushed the Soviet Union, can't keep a score of terrorists on Fort Leavenworth secure. We're not bringing them into the Wawa hoagie shop in our communities. They're going under lock and key. Well, and we're going to throw away that key if the law says they shouldn't be there. But to your second point, Jamie, please. Overseas, I saw so many times that when we went in with our military, whether it was a visit or in with a war, as I had my Carib Battle Group do, do retaliatory strikes, so when I was on the ground there, that the ideals we were we had and we were using to protect and that we fought for had so much to do with our security president obama has been dealt a weak hand in that area of the world and the strength of restoring by closing this harsh symbol of brutality against our ideals actually gives him a plus it isn't the answer but it's a very important tactic in the global war of terrorism i strongly believe it and never would i support them coming into our communities and walking the streets we're putting them into the harshest of prisons to be held under the due process of our law I, I think you've stated your position well and i appreciate your thoughts i do want to say that i did research and supermax is full up in fact the one in colorado you refer to has one space 
and the Dems right. don't want to pay for the closing of Gitmo right now. So this is an issue we report. We'll let our viewers decide what they think should You're happen. Right. I think we've but presented there are this fairly today. Thank you. But there are 125 Supermac facilities around America okay. that uh, that you can move them to. But very lots. Thank you so much. Appreciate Thank you, you so pointing much, out Jamie. so many issues. Have a good day. Well, North Korea